Welcome to the Principles of Martial Art Motion where we endeavour to help you with your martial art. I'm Colin, this is Simon. Today we're going to be looking at Elizabethan gentleman George Silver's false times. They are time of the foot, time of the foot and body, time of the foot, body and hand, and the feet, body and hand. There are two broad definitions of the word false. One is wrong and the other is lying or deceiving. Now, a lot of people only assume the wrong. The common interpretation of George Silver is to assume false times are wrong. George Silver actually knew the word wrong. <coughs> In Paradox 2, the tall man must have his sword longer than the man of mean stature or else he has wrong in his defense. And the man of mean stature must have his weapon longer than the man of small stature, or else he has wrong in his defense. So what I'm saying is, George Silver knew the word wrong. And if he'd wanted to use the word wrong for his times, then he could have just simply said wrong times. So the wrong should be fairly obvious. I put my foot in, then attack. And as you can see, if I do it wrong, I am in serious trouble. There is a probably a, a less controversial version of the false time, that is the person who voids, especially against the wild attack. As you can see, time of the foot to avoid. But let's see if we can use a more subtle or devious version of false times. So here I am putting in time of the foot, baiting Simon into an attack. But perhaps that's bait's not good enough. So I can put in time of the foot, lean the body in, and whack him one. So as you can see, time of foot, body. But maybe Simon doesn't want to fall for that either. So we have time of the foot, body, and a bit late for Simon to deal with because my hand is now only in the middle. So just to go over that again, foot, body, hand. Finally we have the fourth false time of the feet, body, and hand. So putting in the feet, body, hand, and bye-bye opponent. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed that, please subscribe.